Hi, welcome back to the Tops from Ted. This Sunday, we've got the Super Bowl coming up. I, for one, will be hanging out, rooting on Pat Mahomes to hopefully knock off Tampa Bay and Brady. We got a lot to celebrate. We got the Super Bowl. We've had a big snowstorm the other day. Cuomo seems to be finally be rethinking some of his dictates and the vaccinations are rolling out. I'm getting my shot on Saturday. We'll start off with Schoferhofer from Germany, and this is a Rattler. This is a nice, light, 2.8 ABV a day drinking beer. The origin of this beer, the story says, a bar out in the Black Forest in Germany that was popular with uh, cyclists, one day the bar operator realized that he didn't have enough beer to get him through the day. So he cut the wheat beer with the grapefruit juice and stretched it out over the course of the day. It ended up becoming a favorite and they invented a new style of beer. Most people are familiar with the style uh, Shandy. A Rattler is uh, basically the same thing. Shandies are usually a lager with a lemonade, more like a lemon soda. And the Rattler is a wheat beer with, uh, in this case, grapefruit juice. This is such a great, refreshing, easy drinking beer. By far one of my favorites, a beer that I love to have on the golf course and 2.8% alcohol, uh, extremely light. You can definitely drink the whole 16 ounce can, or it's not 16, I guess it's 19 ounce can with, uh, without having any reservations. So next up, we've got Mickey Boodle from Thin Man Brewery out of Buffalo. Mike Schatzel up in Buffalo owns this brewery. He owns a bunch of beer bars up in Buffalo. We've had one or two of their beers uh, in the packages before. This is one of his sour beers. It's a big favorite over at the uh, over at Essex Market. So this is a, a raspberry sour. I figured after the uh, grapefruit rattler, uh, this would be a good one to go into next. This is a pink beer, no doubt about that. This has got the this is raspberry sour. It's got a pink head. You can really smell the raspberries. Are you sure we didn't do this one? So this beer is similar to the one that we had in our last uh, our last batch, which was the uh, ten barrel crush. Nice tart, not overwhelming. This is a kettle sour, and so uh, the kettle sours are soured in a kettle uh, as opposed to being. Uh, barrel aged and soured on wood. These uh, take less time to make and the flavors are fresher, not as complex. This is a uh, fruited raspberry sour. There is raspberry in this and it's just a nice, refreshing, clean, tart beer. Green State is a lager from our, our friends up at Zero Gravity in Vermont. They make really, really nice beers. So this is a easy drinking lager, 4.9 ABV. This one is mostly filtered. There's a little bit of haze in there, not much. Some grass on there, a little bit of biscuit. Ah, that's a good beer. Nice, great finish, very balanced. Just a really nice, easy drinking beer. This is a great beer uh, you know, for the game. Okay, so Three Floyds out of Munster, Indiana brings us uh, Alpha King. Now, we've had one or two of these beers from this brewery before. I believe we had Zombie Dust and we've had Gumball Head. They're IPA and they're wheat beer. This is their pale ale, and it's gonna be a little bit lighter in ABV than your IPAs. So, this has been filtered. This is pretty clear. Th these guys have been making the beer for a while, and they're, they're mostly West Coast takes on styles. A little bit lighter than, uh, than an amber. It doesn't have the punch that the New England style IPAs have, where there's just so much aroma coming off of the beer that it just blows you away. This is nice, much more subtle. Very well balanced, malty sweetness in there. Bittering hops are there to, to temper that and balance it out. More bitter than a lot of New England IPAs. You're gonna notice that West Coast style right away. Three Floyds Alpha King, really good American Pale Ale. This style of can probably looks familiar to a lot of you by now. It's got the interlocking OH, it's the other half. One of our favorite breweries, I've said before, they're very close by. You can jump on a train and be down there in 20 minutes. God willing, COVID will be over soon and we'll be able to start doing that again. This is Baby Diamonds, double dry hopped IPA, 6.6 .6 ABV. Orange color, very hazy, nice white head. It's got a nice creamy mouthfeel, quite a bit of sweetness on it. Nice amount of bitterness from the hops. Dangerously delicious beer. Other half really has nailed the double dry hopped 
IPA and double IPA. So now we have Lef Brun. Now, I've heard this pronounced Lef or Lefa, and I asked somebody from Belgium one time, what's the, pronun what's the correct pronunciation? And they told me yes. Apparently, it really depends on what part of Belgium you're in as to how you pronounce it, if it's Lef or Lefa. So this is a uh, strong, dark Belgian ale. Brewed in Belgium uh, by InBev. And uh, I know that's a bad word to a lot of people, but I worked at InBev or Anheuser-Busch InBev for five years and uh, they really do brew some great beers. And this is one of them. Uh, this is a great beer from uh, Belgium. I'm a big fan of this beer, have been for a long time. It's got, it's mahogany color, rich, malty, kind of warming almost. It's got sweet raisins, stone fruits. This is a, a great beer uh, for sitting in front of the fire. This is a great beer for a cold, snowy winter day. Pairs very well with uh, cheeses, pairs very well with stews. Not quite a dessert beer, but really delicious Belgian beer. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I think we've got a great lineup of beers this week. If you're interested in subscribing, head on over to tophops.com where you'll find all the information you need. Have a great weekend. Go Chiefs. Thank you.